Let's make it pop. Hey, it's Matthew Reinhardt here, and today we're going to make a really cool Thanksgiving turkey pop-up. There's a template below. So once you print out all the different pages, there are four pages, and you can print them out on different colors of cardstock, like I've done here. I've, I've used brown and orange. Oh, by the way, um, these are not my hands, obviously. These are Kirsten's hands. Kirsten, say hi. Hi. Anyways, um, so Kirsten's helped me out because I'm really busy making pop-ups. Um, so first things up, after you've printed all the uh, templates, all four pages onto cardstock, the next thing you're gonna do is use a paper clip to, um, you're gonna score all the dotted lines. So everywhere you see a dotted line, you're gonna use that paper clip and you're gonna rub it along the uh, dotted lines using a ruler as your straight edge or anything else that you have as a straight edge uh, to go along those straight lines. See how she's doing it? Next, you're gonna use a pair of scissors and you're gonna cut along all the solid black lines. So just follow along very, very carefully. Take your time, use any size scissors that you like and cut very carefully along all those solid black lines and cut out all the pieces from all four pages of templates. Look at how fast she's going. So there we are, we got all our pieces cut. Thanks Kirsten, you did a great job with that. We're first gonna take these two pieces and we're gonna pre-fold all of those um, dotted lines. We already scored them, but when we pre-fold them, we just kind of get, we get, the, uh, we get the, the little fibers in the paper to uh, move a little bit better so they'll, our pop-up will move just that much better and work that much better. So make sure you pre-fold all of those dotted lines, all those scored lines that you you already scored with your paper clip. First take these three pieces. We're gonna add glue, and this is just regular white glue. We're gonna add it along the gray area here, just like this. Don't use too much, don't, don't squeeze that bottle too much. This, like I said, this is like regular craft glue. Glue A into place where it says glue A here, just like this. You see, where that's where the tab goes. Sometimes I press my finger. Thanks, Kirsten, you're doing it just right. Next up, we're gonna glue D and C into place, just like this. See how they line up and see where they go? There's a little gray area that says glue C here and glue D here. I'm gonna put them into place. Use a little glue just like that. And fold it over like that and that oops gotta hold it down and let it dry and that makes a little strap on the back side of the card just like that now we're gonna glue this brown piece into place and see it says uh, the letter B and that's where piece B is gonna go see I'm gonna glue on the base page here just follow it along and I just do it very, very lightly. Don't put a, don't squeeze that glue too much and make a big glob. Take your time. And then we're just gonna put it right into place. You're gonna see that shape fits exactly the bottom of piece B, that, just like that. See how it fits? And I'm pulling in these, these other pieces on the side here so that the glue doesn't accidentally stick onto them. Next, we're gonna take this piece and it says glue E here and there's the letter E. And we're gonna glue that to each other. So let's take our glue. And we're gonna paint that glue on. We're gonna just fill in that shape that says glue E here. Not too much glue. And turn it over onto itself and make a, that rectangular piece just like that. Now we're all finished. We're gonna let it dry and fold these two pieces down just like that and fold these two down. And now that piece is ready to get be assembled. See where it says F and that shape there says glue F here. Let's put some glue down just like this. Mm -hmm. And the shape is gonna match exactly where it's supposed to go, just like that. So you're gonna glue F down. I'm gonna press it down. You're gonna just wait, have some patience. Let it, let it dry for a few seconds. Let it stick into place. Then you're going to take tab G, and you're gonna look on the other uh, sort of strange shaped piece like this. You're gonna look for the little gray area that says glue G here. 
All right, so let's put some glue in that spot and then let's glue tab G to that area and press it down. It's almost like we're sandwiching these two strange pieces here. They actually fit right on top of each other. They're, they're exactly matched up. So these two um, top and bottom pieces here, they're matched up exactly. Okay, now that those pieces are attached, see how they're attached are kind of sandwiched in by that one piece? We're gonna just press it into, oh, there's this tab here. Now this tab doesn't have a letter on it and, and this one does, oh, excuse me, this one does, yes. We're going to fold it inward, just like that, see that? And this one here is just the same. So we're gonna fold it in, just like that. We're gonna fold this one underneath, just in, just like that. And we're actually gonna put some glue on both of them. So that's, that's the position they're supposed to be in. We're just gonna put some glue just like this, right there. We're gonna lay down this long piece, just like that. Just like this, yep. See how it's laid in there? And we're pressing it. And that, you can see at the end where that lines up. Then we're gonna push it in. We're gonna actually put a little glue on that tab area right there. This is a little tricky part. We gotta make sure that this tucks in and it's gonna glue to this really long piece. See how I've tucked it in there? Thanks, Kristen, you did just right. I'm gonna press it down, I'm gonna leave it and let it dry for a couple seconds and make sure that it's in place. So now when we look inside, see how it's sandwiched under there? That long piece is sandwiched between the top and bottom turkey pieces. See how it goes like that? Yeah, that's how it's gonna work later on, but it's gonna look even better. See how that works? Next, see all these little tabs here that are sticking out from um, the bottom piece from under the top piece? Let's see what the, those letters are there. Um, H-I-J-K-L-M-N. All right, so those, all those tabs, What we're going to do is we're going to actually glue them to the above piece. So what we're going to do is fold them under just like this. We're going to put some glue just like this. We're going to start with N. I'm going to glue tab N. See how, see how I've folded it over? See how we fold it over and then press it down? And it should go right into place just like that. It should line up perfectly. Very nice. Let's get the rest of those tabs done. All right, Kristen, time to glue down the rest of those tabs. Fold it under, add some glue. Not too much. And then press down the top piece. All right, let's do all the rest of those tabs. Fold it under, add the glue just right there, and press it down. All right, do it for all of those tabs, four tabs, H, I, J, K, L, M, and N. Now, once they all those tabs have dried in place, look at that. When we pull this little long piece, this tab piece, the turkey starts to get fatter. Now, we're going to need to glue these two tabs. They should be folded just like this. We're going to glue tab Q and P into place. You can see the areas on the card um, that says glue Q here and glue P here. So we're gonna add some glue to those areas. Oh, I love gluing, don't you, Kirsten? Yeah, it's great. Make sure you wait long enough to let those pieces glue. See, ah, look, when you pull open the card, turkey pops up. Now we're not done yet with this turkey. It doesn't have any wings or, or, or any drumsticks, so that's what these extra pieces are for. Let's put them into place. So you're gonna see we have little spots that actually key in, all these shapes key exactly into the spots they're supposed to go. So we're gonna add a little glue to the side, just like this on this top piece. And we're going to glue one of the drumsticks in place. There's one. 
And on this bottom area here, this shape right here, that's where the wing's going to go. And this is the wing piece. See how it just fits right in there? Should fit exactly the piece. Should fit that shape. Mmm. I can smell the turkey already. Mmm. All right, let's do the same for the other side. Let's put the other wing on this shape. That goes right there. And then the other one, the other shape, that's where the drumstick will go. We need a little glue there. Put in that shape just like that. It's going to be our wing. And then let's stick the drumstick. Uh, I'm, I, I like drumsticks, but I think I, I'm much more of a, a, I don't know. I like all kinds of turkey meat. That's all good. Uh, turkey is good stuff. I like a drumstick. All right, and let those pieces dry. Now, once you have this pop-up. Now, what's really cool about this pop-up is you can display it open like this. And that's what that little latch is on, on the bottom. So when you send it to somebody, you can give it to them and they can display it on the table for Thanksgiving. Oh, just don't eat it. And the other thing too is you can, you can fold it shut. See how it automatically opens up? And what we can do is we can fold that long card piece under and latch it into place and that way you can display your pop-up or you can close it shut and close the latch over it and then send it to somebody you love for thanksgiving so after you've built all the pieces look at that pop-up look at that pop-up turkey you can practically smell it i think it's time that we start decorating so abracadabra decorate so you can use all different types of things to decorate if you want, but you have to make sure you let them dry if you're using anything that's wet. So you could use markers, you could use colors or crayons. Um, if you wanted to add some little special pieces, whatever you'd like to add to decorate your turkey pop-up card, you can do it. Have fun with it. So once you've fully decorated your Thanksgiving turkey pop, I think I'll close it up just like this and latch it. Mm -hmm. Who's this going to go to? Hmm. I think, well, I'll get an envelope, put it inside. Hope they like it. Look at that. Our very own Thanksgiving turkey pop. Hmm. Looks so good. I almost want to eat it. Well, that's it, everyone. This is our Thanksgiving turkey pop. Let's make it pop together. And if you've enjoyed this video, um, be sure to like and subscribe below. And if you have some ideas about future Let's Make It Pop DIY videos, let me know in the comments below. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Come on, come on.